Do you feel the pain? Everybody, and today we'll be making a scratch game called Ping Pong, as you see I already named my game. So first, what we should do is go to Scratch Cat. Then we will get a sprite from the library, which will be the ball. Now that we have the ball, we'll also have to make the bat that will be hitting the ball. So just go and paint a new sprite and make a rectangle. Make it cover the 50% of your screen, like its length should be 50% of your screen. So when we shrink it, it will be about 25%. So then just fill it with the same color you used. And there you have one of your bats. Now you should just go and duplicate. No, first you should actually code and put this. When green flag clicked, Set size to 30%. And just see how this looks. That's good because if you see, it's about the same size as the ball. But if you wanted to, you could make it 40%. Which I think I like. Yep, 40%. So then just duplicate that. And you have two. But go into costumes and just change this to a different color so you don't get mixed up with which one is which. Now go back to your red, red bat and put in also, go to negative 220 so that it goes into the middle of the, the screen and then onto the left. So like we start, you're in the starting position. So just do go to negative 220 and y 0 so now when we do this it goes there but that's not the center you yeah you have to center this bit there so just center it and then it will go more to the center you should also center this um, a bit down. Yeah, that's good. Now go back here, and you have this. So now put a forever block, and have two ifs in them. And there put if he. So if he. W plus or P S plus. And now we should make it change Y by 10 and change Y by negative 10. So when we press W, it will go up, and when we press S, it will go down. So we just have this, put that there. Actually, that's the X, so we need to put Y, the Y coordinate. So make that negative 10. So after you're done with that, you're, checking, you're just done with this, so you can just put this into the blue sprite, and you have that there. But just change this key to the up arrow key, and this to the down arrow key, and make this just 220, not negative 220. And you're done with those. Now we just have to do the code for the ball. The code for the ball is... When green flag clicked, set, oh yeah, you have to make two variables. One is called red score. Red score. Why is it? Yeah, one is called red One is called red score. Yeah. Just put that there because this is red 
Well, so you shouldn't put red, you should just put the color you have here. So since this is red, I made it red score. And since this is blue, I'll make that blue score. And put blue score here. Now let's continue. So after you put the one green flag here, you should put set two times and put also red score in there. So now you've set the blue score and red score to zero. Now we should make the ball go to the center. So you just have to put a go to and make that zero, zero. Now that it's going to go into the center, let's make it, make the ball point to the left. I mean to the, yeah, to the left. So we will just do this and change that to left. But there's another thing you could do if you wanted to make it random. This is your choice. You could make you could choose 90 or negative 90. So you want it to start to the left or to the right. You cannot choose up or down because what happens is is that if the ball goes up, it will keep on bouncing in a straight line and we won't get anywhere. So that's why you should not choose 180 or 0. But if you want to make it even more random, you should put a pick random and make it negative 90 to negative 179. The reason we're putting, actually not negative 179, to negative 179 without the negative without the minus, so you just negative 90 to positive 179. So now we have, so now we have no idea where the ball will start. So that just makes it a bit more challenging. Now that we've done that, we'll go back here and continue. So now we've done the part of like setting the ball to get ready and changing the score we'll actually make the ball move. So we should put a forever, if on edge, bounce, move point set. So what this does is that for, if it touches these edges, it will bounce, but also it will keep on moving 10 steps in the direction it's pointing in. So now it says, now we're gonna put an if touching blue, Well, not blue, it's touching the sprite too. It's touching sprite too. As you see now, it's starting to work. But it's not bouncing off of these pads or back. So we'll put it touching sprite too. Then point in direction. And you should again go here and pick a random of. 70 to 110. And also play sound pop so that it, you know that you hit the ball. Now just duplicate that and put it down again. And just change a few things like change this to sprite 1 or red if you need to use the sprite 1 too. And also change this to negative 70 and negative 110. Now that we have that, actually we did something wrong. We have to switch this to negative 70 and this to negative 110. Change this to 70, and this to 110. Now that we have got that done, we'll put this, another if block in, and say that if is, I'll put a gray, if the x position 
of the ball is greater than two, negative 210. Actually, negative just 210. I'm getting mixed up with negative 210 and 210. Sorry. But just do this here and then say change red score. Red score by one. So now every time this goes there, like without the ball touching, without this pad touching it, it will make the score go up by one. Also, we should say to go back to the center. Let's take this part off and just say go to the center and play the sound chord. So go into the sound here and then pick a sound from the library. It's going to be in the C here. It's called chord. As you hear it there, you can just play that. And then we have that. And just go back into script and take that play sound. What? I have chord. Anyways, I'll just give you the ball because that was bad. You have that, so select that and then click OK. Now you have this. Go back into script and say play sound chord. So now that we've done that, we will actually hit change that to play sound chord and play done. And now say point in direction. So just click this here. Where's the, yeah, this. Take this piece and put it there. Now just duplicate this, put it there. And change a few things. Change this to blue score and this to negative 200. And now that we have done this, you have successfully finished your game. I hope you enjoy this game, and if you have anything you want me to add to it, just tell it in the comment section. Goodbye!